Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to talk about GLAD rags. We recently did another video on signal flags where we talked about all of the nonverbal means of communication on the ship, primarily from up on the O3 level flag bridge. Uh, so if you want to hear about semaphore, signal flags, and blinking lights, check out that video. There's a link in the description below. Today we're going to talk about another use for signal flags that's not really for communication. Uh, in fact, the whole idea is to not communicate anything. So, uh, during special occasions, ships, not just museum ships like Battleship New Jersey, but active duty ships, will be dressed for colors, which is how you see us today. And in this instance, you take the ship's signal flags and you string them up on your fore and afts, or sometimes called your up and overs. And uh, that way, you've got a lot of bright, colorful, waving, moving objects on your uh, otherwise mundanely gray battleship. This is how you turn your uh, ship into a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man. What sort of occasions do you do this for? Holidays are a common one, like uh, Fourth of July, Veterans Day, Memorial Day. Uh, oftentimes, coronation ceremonies or fleet reviews. You'll decorate the ships like these as well. And you say, Ryan, the US Navy doesn't have a, uh, a ruler who is coronated. Well, different navies will often send ships to represent them at things like that, coronation ceremonies and whatnot. Uh, and they would be decorated with signal flags on such occasions. They're signal flags. Each one means a different letter or number what are we spelling out up there? Well, believe it or not, the Navy has thought of everything. We've been doing this sort of thing for hundreds of years. So, uh, intentionally, so that no crew member spells out, like, I hate the captain or anything like that, using the signal flags, the Navy has prescribed an official order that the flags are supposed to be hung in so that letters and numbers and repeater pennants uh, cannot spell anything out. Battleship New Jersey, of course, is significantly longer than your average Navy ship, so we actually have to use that repeater order uh, two or three times to get all 150 plus odd uh, signal flags up. So, if you ever come by the ship and you wonder what that's for, there's your answer. Not all holidays do we put up the signal flags. Uh, oftentimes, especially Christmas and New Year's type holidays over the winter, we'll have uh, Christmas lights hung on our up and overs. So basically, uh, the, the up and over is just a highly tensioned cable that runs from the bow to the highest point on the ship and then from the highest point of the ship to the stern. Or uh, if we had two masts, we'd have one run up, one go between the masts, and one back down. You can lower things on those and raise them up as needed, uh, including Christmas lights, holiday lights, and uh, signal flags. Believe it or not, uh, hanging signal flags like this is quite abusive. Uh, typically, signal flags are, are very thin material. They need to be able to be caught stiff by the wind so that you can see them. They're not just hanging limply. Uh, so typically, you're, you're raising them quickly to send the message and then you're lowering them again. It's not like an American flag that's gonna be hung from the ship eight hours a day, every single day. So when we hang them from the up and overs for a week at a time, for Memorial Day weekend, 4th of July weekend, those sorts of things, uh, it, it's really savage on them, especially here on the Delaware where we get some pretty bad north and south uh, winds blowing down the river pretty constantly. Uh, so these flags get torn up and uh, our volunteers and staff do repair them frequently. Uh, typically about one third of them need to be repaired after each time we hang them. Uh, but uh, after two or three years of this, we gotta get rid of them. So if you would like to support this project, there's a link in the description to the ship store where you can buy signal flags. And if you wanna buy, say the first letter of your name or spell out your whole name, you can buy them from our ship store. Those are flags that have flown over the ship for a couple of years. And then uh, that money goes into us buying new ones that we're gonna hang back up so that the ship looks good during the next holiday. So check the store to see what letters are available.
So this brings us to rigging. Uh, traditionally, rigging on a sailing ship is so that you're holding the masts upright. Um, and there are a certain number of, they're called stays, even on some modern ships that hold the masts upright. Battleship New Jersey, everything is welded in place pretty stiffly. I don't believe we actually have any stays. Uh, so really the only piece of significant rigging we have is the uh, up and overs. We do have some running rigging in the form of our various flag halyards for signal flags. And uh, basically in modern ships where you don't have to hold the mast up, that's what all of your, your rigging is for. Either signal flags or radio aerials. And that's the whole reason why a modern ship has masts at all. You know, without having sails, why, why do we need these? Why, why do you see masts on ships? Why do you see uh, really tall masts on older World War I style dreadnoughts, for example? That is so that you can signal flags at a great distance. Radio communication was pretty new at that point. And it is so that you can hang those radio aerials uh, between your masts. And Battleship New Jersey does have a number of radio antennas on her. Modern ships like this one, have very little room for traditional type antennas to be spread around the superstructure. So you see them in really weird places on this ship, such as the disco and cage antenna at the bow, or the two whip antenna uh, receivers sticking out over turret two. Uh, there just isn't a lot of room for them, and different antennas like that that are radiating will interfere with each other, so you gotta spread them out. Uh, and so running aerials between the masts as rigging uh, is a really common way of doing it. So, got a number of questions from those of you who are modelers primarily. What sort of rigging does the ship have and why? There's your answer. Now, another common question is, doesn't this line get in the way of following the, firing the guns? Maybe. Like most of us who build model ships have the lines going to the, uh, the forward and aft guns. Theory, you don't need it. It's just there to carry flags and stuff. Uh, so, so you could easily remove it. And I suspect in wartime that line wouldn't have been carried. But you're very rarely firing due forward or due aft. And at virtually any angle off of straight ahead, you're, you're not going to hit this line. So it, it's not really a thing. If you watch our video on the damage we took during the Korean War, you'll see that uh, we took way more damage from firing our own guns than we did from being hit by North Korean shore batteries. So if you're not firing this gun straight broadside with the muzzle over the water, you're gonna damage your ship. So if you're gonna be firing your guns forward, you've already accepted that you're damaging your ship and, and maybe that line's gonna part and it's gonna be like uh, when a guitar string breaks, it's gonna give you a twang and it's gonna catch anybody who's standing on the main deck. Each of the signal flags has a different design on it. Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State. Uh, and also from a number of businesses and viewers like yourselves. So we really appreciate the support you guys have given us. There's a link in the description if you would like to continue supporting us. It allows us to make more videos like this one. Another way to support us without donating is to like, share, and subscribe. That way more people see our content. Uh, and it'll also let you know when we're posting new content five times a week. Thanks for watching.